Good morning, everybody. How was your day? Are you good? All right. Before I proceed to my discussion, I want you to sit properly, listen carefully, eyes on the front, and focus. Because after my discussion, we will be having an oral recitation, and I will pick each of you randomly. Okay? So let's start. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to do the following. So first, you will be able to identify uses and functions of tools and equipment. Then select and prepare the necessary tools and equipment for specific activity. Lastly, perform procedure of cleaning of fingernails using tools and equipment. So what is nail care or cleaning? Nail care is the maintenance of the fingernails and toenails. It helps to prevent fungus infections of the nail, painful injured fingernails and toenails, and infections of the skin in the hands and feet. So nail care or cleaning is part and parcel of our everyday living. So it is very important for us to do uh, cleaning of fingernails and toenails. So why is it, is it important to clean our fingernails and toenails? It is because cleaning of nails reflects the general state of health. The way you take care of yourself, the way you take care of your fingernails and toenails is a telltale sign of having a personal hygiene level. So it is very important for you to give a proper attention and care just like you would to your face and feet and teeth. So nail care or cleaning consists of competencies that a person must achieve to perform enhancing of someone's personal beauty, such as manicure, pedicure, hand spa, and foot spa. But at this moment, we will be first having the manicure. So what is manicure? Manicure is a cosmetic beauty treatment for the fingernails at home or in a nail salon. So uh, having a manicure can be done at home, in salon, or other places. Manicure refers to the curation and care of client's hands. So it is a way different from pedicure because pedicure can be done through feet. Manicure prevents nail diseases, skin problems, and helps alleviate stress. So manicure is not only for the reason or for the purpose of expressions, uh, fashion, but it is also for a reason of um, a stress reliever of every woman, specifically women, rather. Manicure helps your nails clean and tidy, which prevents fungal infection, as what I have mentioned earlier. Manicure helps exfoliate your skin and remove any calluses on your feet. So, tools, materials, and equipment has its own uses and functions. So, before I introduce to you to um, example of tools, we will be first know what is a tools. So tools are the articles used in any nail care service which are durable or permanent and are handheld. So in short, tools are implements. Implements because it is used to do the work. So here are a sample of tools. So, callus remover. Callus remover is a tool designed to strip off calluses and corns. So, it, can, it is used uh, uh, specifically to men because they only have calluses. The next one is cuticle scissor. So, cuticle scissor is an implement to cut stubborn cuticles. And then, the next one is the orange wood stick. 
So it is an implement with pointed and rounded edge trim of excess polish. So it is used together with a cotton, cotton box. Then the next one is plastic container for a cotton. So it is a small receptacle where cotton balls are put. It is very important to have an organized things in conducting a manicure. Then the next one is the nail brush. So nail brush is a, is a plastic handled brush with nylon bristles used to clean and, cos and cosmetic residue from the nail surface of the skin. So it is used after a cutting of cuticles using cuticle remover. Then the next one is nail buffer. Nail buffer is an implement used for smoothening and polishing the nail. So it is used after all the cleaning process. Then the next one is the cuticle nail cushion. So it is a tool used to push back and loosen the cuticles. So when you do a uh, when you do pushing back or loosen the cuticles, it must be uh, it is very important to go uh, one direction. So if you want to uh, push it back, just push it back. The next one is the cuticle nipper. It is an implement used to cut cuticles. So the difference between cuticle scissor and cuticle nipper is um, the nipper is for only the cuticles while the scissor is for stubborn. Then the next one is the nail clipper, nail trimmer, only known as nail cutter. So it is a hand tool made of metal used to trim fingernails and toenails. So then the next one is the nail file or emery board. So nail file is an implement used to shape the free edges of the nail with a coarse side and be well the nail with the finer side. So it is used after a cutting of nails using nail clipper. So it is for the purpose of to have a finer side or a balanced side. Then the next one is the finger or manicure bowl. It is a small bowl used for soaking fingers to soften the cuticles. So the purpose for this is from the word itself, soften the cuticles. Then the next one is the manicure tray. Manicure tray is a flat container where all the necessary tools and implements are being placed. So it is very important to have a manicure tray for you to put all the necessary necessary tools for a specific activity. And then the materials. So what is materials? So materials are the cosmetics and supplies that are consumed and should be replaced from time to time. So in short, materials are consumable. So example of materials are benzalconium chloride. So it is a yellow-white powder prepared in an aqueous solution used as surface disinfectant and topical antiseptic. But in the local area, benzalconium chloride is an orange color, not a powder, but a liquid. So the next one is the cotton buds or cotton balls. So it is a soft white downy fiber for dabbing or cleaning the nails and removing nail color. It is done with the use of orange wood stick in uh, removing excess polish or excess cuticles. So the next one is an alcohol. I know it's very familiar to you since we all have this. So it is an organic compound used as sanitizer. So it is used before, uh, before cleaning of uh, fingernails. So manicurists must uh, sanitize their hands as well as the tools and materials that going to use. Apron is an outer protective garment that covers primarily the front of the body to protect clothes from dirt or any stains. 
Then the next one is the cuticle remover. So it is a liquid used to soften nail cuticles and prepare them to be cut. So the purpose for this is to soften the cuticles to easily be cut by a cuticle nipper. Then the next one is a hand towel. So it is an absorbent cloth for drying hands. So it is used after soaking off fingernails using what? A bone. Then the, sec the next one is assorted color nails. So it is a lockwear applied on fingernails and two nails to decorate and protect the nail plate. So it is uh, used for an art. Then the next one is base coat. It is a clear layer of polish applied to the nail plate to smooth the surface for color and promote healthier nails. So it is used for base coat, coat and after using or applying assorted color nails. These two materials, we will not be using this in our activity. So the next one is manicure pillow. So it is a hand caution that helps a client to keep her hands steady and relaxed. But as what I experienced, I don't like to having a manicure pillow because I'm not comfortable with it. So the next, the next one is the nail polish remover. So it is an organic solvent used to dissolve all the polish and uh, remove. The purpose for this is to remove uh, uh, old polish or excess polish. Then the next one is equipment. So equipment are the items which are more or less durable and permanent needed for a particular activity or purpose. So in short, Equipment are expensive one. So example for equipment is a chair. So a chair are seats with back support which have four legs and some have rest of the arms. So it is used uh, to it is used in uh, usually in pedicure. Then the next one is the manicurist chair or stool. It is the adjustable upholstered seat fitted over metal or chrome. So it is usually used uh, for manicures. Then the next one is the manicure table. It is a furniture particularly used by manicures. So it is uh, the place where your hands are being put. Next one is relay. It is a car that is pushed by hand and used for transporting, manicuring, and pedicuring tools and materials. But we don't have a complete uh, equipment on our facility, so we will not be using this. But instead of relay, we have a manicure tray. So now, cleaning tools of fingernails. So those that I have uh, mentioned and discussed, uh, those are the tools, materials, and equipments for manicure and pedicure. But at this moment, uh, we will be only using acetone, lotion, nail brush, critical nail pusher, critical nippers, nail file or emery board, manicure bowl, alcohol, hand towel, orange wood stick, cotton balls, and nail buckler. So now, let us proceed to cleaning of fingernails procedure. So the first one is prepare the tools and equipment and sanitize it. It is very important for you to sanitize first the, all the tools and materials to be used. For us, serves as an assurance that it is clean. Then the next one is wash your hands with soap on a lukewarm water. So, your clients must wash her or his hands, and you, Chris, you will do the same. Then the third one is starting from the little finger, cut the nails according to the desired shape. So it it, it can be square or an oval 
form of males. So it depends upon your clients. Then the fourth one is file the nails using an emery board or nail file. So it is the purpose for this is to be balanced or uh, have a finer side. Then place the head in a manicure bowl filled with warm water and antiseptic liquid soap just enough to cover the nail. Then cut and file the left hand while waiting for the soaking to finish. So you must, uh, you will cut and file, and file the left hand while uh, waiting on the right hand. Then the next one is remove the right hand from the manicure bowl and dry with a towel. So it is, uh, you have only a one hand because you cannot do uh, two hands at a the time. Then the next one is apply critical remover in the nails of the right hand. So critical remover is to soften the cuticles. Then push back the critical using a nail pusher. So it is, uh, it is done for the purpose of easily cut the criticals. And then the next one is remove ex excess critical using clippers. Then brush the nails to clean off the cut criticals. So to easily uh, remove the dirt or excess criticals. Then buff the nails using the buffer by brushing on the nails to make it shiny. Because you know, as you know, uh, nail buffer is for the purpose of smoothening. Then use a nail brush to remove any dirt on the nails. Next, apply critical oil and massage it in each nail using your thumb. Then wipe off the excess oil using the cotton ball. Then the next one is do the procedure on the left hand. So uh, once that your right hand is done, then the next is the left hand. And lastly, pour a small lotion and massage it in a circular motion. So, for you to better understand, I have a video for you. Cover the tiny slab with a towel. Make sure to sanitize your hands by applying alcohol or hand sanitizer.